Welcome back to the band guide where we use garage band to create professional sounding music. I'm your band guy, Colin, and today I want to talk to you about balance. Balance is such a key part to creating a mix that feels right. And that's a big part of creating a professional sounding mix. If you want your music to sound professional, it needs to feel good. People need to want to listen to it. And balance is a huge part of that. And today I want to talk specifically about balance in the stereo field between your left and your right ears, creating a sense of balance so that your mix feels comfortable for the listener between their left and the right ear. If it's leaning off to one side, it's going to make the listener feel like, should I just be turning my head this way? Like, why is it over here a little bit more and not over here a little bit more? You want to have it balanced so it feels comfortable. And obviously things can pull off to one ear or pull off to the other at times to create a little bit of discomfort or just grab their attention. But you don't want to have it constantly leaning or leaning for a long period of time into one side or the other. And so I want to show you kind of a hidden meter that covers this. This is something that you've probably looked at a hundred times if you've been mixing for a while and maybe never realized that you could use it for this purpose. But it's really, really powerful for this exact purpose. It's like a hidden balance meter inside GarageBand and it's super, super helpful. So let's jump into GarageBand and take a look at it. But before we do, getting the most out of this meter is best done during one specific step of the mixing process, during the static mixing stage, where all we're doing is getting the volume and pan position set right in our mix, so that our mix feels right. And if you are new to mixing or you struggle to get a professional sounding mix, I want to give you something to help with that. I've put together a completely free six-step checklist to a pro mix and garage band that walks through the six steps that all professional mixes have and how to do them inside garage band completely free. There's a link in the description below, so be sure to pick it up. It's really going to help you out. And what we're talking about in this video specifically has to do with the first step of the mixing process, which is the static mix. Okay, let's go ahead and get into GarageBand and look at this balance meter. Okay, so the meter that we're talking about here is the one in the upper right corner. This is our master meter. This is where all of our tracks are flowing through and we can see how loud they are in one place. But we can also see how loud they are specifically in the left and the right ear. And I'm going to show you how you can use that to your advantage while you're mixing to make sure that your mix is balanced, is easy equal between the left and the right ear to the extent possible and necessary. Never use this over trusting your ears, but use this in conjunction with your ears to get a great sounding mix. So if I play just a little bit here, you'll see that we have a top line up here and a bottom line. Now this top line is associated with the left ear and the bottom line is associated with the right ear. So what we wanna do as we bring in things that are going to be panned off to the left or the right, we want to make sure that we're finding balance between the left and the right ear. Now, sometimes we might need to add an additional part if we're going to have something panned off to the right to balance it out on the left side. And sometimes we can just be creative with how we're painting the things in our mix to make them feel balanced with the left and the right. So let's start, for example, right now I have kind of just the basics pulled up in this song. We have our drums, we have a bass, we have one center guitar that's up. Up. Let's go ahead and start bringing in these left and right guitars. And once we get them up to roughly the level that we think they should be sitting in the mix, I'll check them in solo and see how they're looking on this meter. So check this out here. They're going to start coming in around here. Start bringing in this guitar. And now to the left. This guitar here. And now to the right. So I can already see if I look up here, it looks like it's maybe leaning a little bit to the right. But maybe not, it's hard to tell with everything together. So if I solo these two guitars now that are panned left and right and are balancing each other between the left and the right ear, let's look at how even they are. So it's a little bit hidden behind the dot there, but you can see the right ear is consistently a little bit louder than the left ear. So let's bring down the right ear just a little bit. Maybe bring up the left just a little bit. Listen in the context again. And you can see that it sounds and looks balanced to us now. So by listening to it in solo, we get to see that these elements that are the only things that we've intentionally panned far left and right now are still balanced in our mix. And I would do the same thing with vocals as well. So I'm going to bring up the vocals here. At first here, we just have vocals that I want to have hand center. So I have a lead vocal and a, a low harmony. 
And, you think and I want that to be pan center. Then I have this double. Down so you'll see these are perfectly balanced left and right because they're pan in the center. So we're not going to be leaning off to one side or the other. But as I start to bring in this left and right double here that come in just a little bit later. I'm going to pan these left and right. I want to make sure that these are even and balanced between the left and the right ear as well. Let's make sure they're at the right level. Let's solo all our vocals now. And we're just making sure it's okay if they kind of hit or patter back and forth between the left and the right, but generally speaking, we want them hitting equal left and right. These look pretty good. Pretty balanced up here. And we can see that our mix is still looking balanced when it's all together, too. So this is pretty straightforward, but let's say we wanted to pan something. We don't necessarily have something to paint it off that's identical left and right. So here I've recorded two identical guitar parts and I have two identical vocal parts. But what if we want to just have a piano off to the left? Well, this is where we maybe have to get a little bit creative. So here I have this piano. And it's just doing basic block chords. And it sounds good in the center, and I might mix it in the center. But let's say I did want to have it pan off in the left ear. Let's do just a little bit here. Every time it hits, it's going to lean off a little bit to the left, which isn't necessarily bad since it's just for a moment. But, you know, as it's going throughout the song over time, you might start to feel like the mix is leaning left a little bit. Well, something I could do here is use, let's say, the synth to balance it off to the right ear just a little bit. So I could pan this just a little bit off to the right. until they're both look and feel balanced, right? And then in the context here, let's just go back to that start. Right? So it doesn't always have to be exact duplicates, but you can get a little creative with how and when you pan things to still create a balanced mix. So that's the hidden balance meter. I use that all the time. I go back and forth between looking at it when I'm listening to the full mix and soloing things that I'm trying to create with and separation with in the stereo field, checking it on that balance meter, making sure that's not leaning one way or the other for too long of a period. It's super helpful. Definitely start incorporating that into your workflow. Okay, so if you don't already have it, be sure to download the six step checklist to a pro mix it's really going to help you out and by the way if you are interested in having me mix one of your songs i'm holding a few slots open and right now you can actually apply for a free mix from me there's only going to be one free mix and you can apply at the link in the description below i've already had so many submissions and by the way if you've already submitted i've listened to every single song as they've come in and they're all awesome i'm really excited to get into this i'm really excited to pick someone but i'm also holding a few slots for people to hire me to mix a few songs for them over the coming week. So if you're interested in that, even if you don't get that free mixing slot, if you start that application, that's something we can talk about as well. Okay, before you go, I want to hear from you. Did you know you could do this with the master meter, that meter in the top right corner? I didn't know it for the longest time and it's so helpful, right? So let me know in the comments below if you already knew this or if this is new to you, if this was helpful. If this video was helpful, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next week with another video. One